At the engagement, Minister of Justice Yvonne Dasov stated that the rate at which sexual offences, particularly sexual offences that disproportionately affect women and children in Namibia, has become alarming, adding that the sex offenders register is not targeted against men. I've always understood that law is not enough. The sexual offenders register is one way that we want to respond to the carnage of sexual violence in this country. It is one way. If we can blacklist people because they are not paying a debt, surely we can do something about people who repeatedly, who repeatedly commit the kinds of crimes that we are seeing in this country. This is not targeted against men. This is not a target, this is not a law that is intended to punish only offenders. I can tell you, I find that the continuing rising of sexual offenses in this country and the manner in which it happens and the victims and the perpetrators gives me a sense that this is becoming quite contemptuous, almost like I will show you a uh, type of behavior is creeping in. And we are asking ourselves, which we are almost at the point of desperation, actually, when we are introducing uh, such as a sex offenders register, because we are asking ourselves, what more should we say? How many times should we demonstrate? How many times must we condemn? How many times is government going to amend legislation to improve the safeguards, to increase sentences, to introduce new offenses? How many times should we do that? The ministry explained that the discussion on the proposed sex offenders register will take into account the custodian and administrator of the sex offender register who should be registered as a sex offender, access to the sex offender register, duration of listing an offender and the implications and limitations of being listed. Usually it's a specific office or a specific person is designated to be, uh, to be the registrar. Um, that person or that office is responsible for maintaining and updating the registrar. Um, this usually in most jurisdictions, it falls under the Department of Justice, which is the equivalent of the Ministry of Justice in Namibia. And sometimes it also falls with the police department. In, in certain areas in the UK, um, this responsibility rests with the local, uh, every local Police, the police department would have information about the sexual offenders that are registered within their area. Um, then there are supporting instu institutions because one institution cannot be responsible or maintain this list alone. So there are supporting institutions such as the police, correctional services, the Ministry of Health, as well as the courts. And the courts are particularly important because upon being sentenced, Upon being convicted, that information has to go to the registrar so that they have up-to-date and accurate information. Today, on one took to the Central Business District to gauge opinions of members of the public on the proposed sex offenders register, and these were some of their views. I mean, it's a very uh, sensitive subject, and it's something obviously no adult or no person wants your child to go through. So I know in places like, like the U.S., um, certain European countries do have that list. And I think it will be extremely beneficial since if it's a teacher, if it's somebody that interacts with kids on a daily basis, that we as parents or we as the population um, know about it. And it will help us to, to secure, I mean, the, the, the future of women, especially in the country. The last, I would say, five years, there's been a lot of emphasis on gender-based violence. And I believe this is yet another weapon that can be used in the protection against uh, people like our females in the country. I think uh, sex offenders registry would be a very good thing because a lot of people are getting jobs in situations where women could be vulnerable to such sexual offense or harassment in the workplace. And 
I do think that it's overdue because a lot of countries already have something in place and people aren't as held as accountable as they should in Namibia. As with the protest in 2020, it became more, um, it raised awareness and I think that it is a good thing and we are headed in the right direction. So <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not